Hey everyone, so this is going to be an oracle deck review. This is the Seasons of the Witch Salon Oracle. Uh, this deck is created, created by Lorraine Anderson and Juliet Diaz. Um, it is illustrated by Giada Rose, I believe is how you pronounce her name. Hopefully I'm saying this right, I'm probably not, but I am trying. Um, here's the back of the box. So this is by Rockpool. Um, so, hopefully you can see this. You're kind of stacked on books once again. <laughs> Until I figure out a better system of showing these Oracle and Tarot deck reviews. Um, so, anyways, the back of the box. It says, Harness the intuitive power of the year's most magical night. Salon is one of the most potent and magical nights of the year for performing divination, ritual, and spells. Now you can experience the magic and electric energies of the sacred night all year long with the Seasons of the Witch Salon Oracle. This beautifully designed and illustrated book and 44 card deck set will connect you to the spirit realm to bring healing, understanding, protection, and guidance. Original poetry from Juliet Diaz works as invocations for magic and ritual, while intuitive guidance from Lorraine Anderson will take you through your personal readings. Finally, the beautiful artwork of Giada Rose will transport you to new worlds. Unlock the secret insights with spells and recipes to make the most of Samhain energy. So there's a little description of this deck. And here's a few cards. I know it's really, really small and you can't really read what this says, but these are kind of like what the cards look like. And I'll actually show you the cards, of course, because that's the point of these, right? Um, I will show you the box. I thought the box was really cool. Very blood moon energy, of course. So it's got this beautiful, deep, dark, vampy red color. And this really pretty imagery of a full moon. So I love that. And I will stick this box over here. And we'll show you the guidebook. Here's the guidebook. Pretty standard for rock pull. Um, pretty thick. Um, I will say... So, well, I guess I should say this first. So the um, start of the book, of course, has you know about the cards, and then it has different card spreads that you can use. So it's got all kinds of different um, spreads at the beginning. I'm just kind of flipping through. I'm not actually showing each and every one of these spreads really in detail, but this is just kind of what it looks like. So if you want to look a little bit further in, you can pause the video as always. Okay, so the Oracle cards. I love the pages in this book because they do have colored cards. Um, or colored pages for the cards. So you can actually see them a little bit better than just typical black and white. So it's got the card, of course. It's got the keywords. Um, and there's a description about it. And it, it has some of the poetry, like it mentioned on the back of the box, of... Um, from Juliet Diaz. So it's really cool. They are really pretty cards. Oh, and it does have the reverse meanings in here. That I hadn't really, um, I hadn't really got to look at this. Honestly, this is really the first real time I've flipped through this deck because I haven't had a chance to use it. Um, so I'm kind of learning the deck and seeing it along with you all this time. So it has the reverse meanings. Um, but yeah, I love the fact that it has the colored pages. It's really awesome. A lot of guidebooks don't. It just has typical black and white, but these actually do have the colored pages. So it's pretty cool. Um, so there's what the guidebook kind of looks like. And now, for the fun part, the cards. So here's the backs of the cards. Really, really pretty. I love how it's got this red and black blood moon theme. And they are fairly glossy, if you can't tell. So um, it's really cool though, because these cards, and I've never really seen this before, like in red. And I think it's what, called them embossed cards or whatever, where it's like the, I think that's maybe the right word, I really don't know. But it's got the, the pretty shiny red edges, you know, kind of like Bible pages, you know, with the silver gold colors and stuff, but this is red on these cards and I've seen a few I have a few card decks actually that have the silver and gold edge edges but um I've never seen this red especially this shade of red this is really really pretty I love it so these are really really pretty cards 
Um, and I will show each card individually. They are very glossy, so they're kind of they're kind of slick, but that could be a good thing for shuffling. I, I like them. Um, as far as the cardstock, yeah, it's pretty typical, but it's fairly thick, um, considering it's it's pretty strong. Still bendable, still flexible, still good for shuffling, but still pretty strong. So, here's the first one. All Hallows Eve. I hope you can see this. I hope there's not too much of a glare. And I'm just going to kind of flip through them. Um, altar. That one's really pretty. And hopefully the music isn't too loud. I'm, of course, listening to Lorena McKinnett. <laughs> Samhain Knight, since this is the Samhain Oracle deck. <laughs> okay, so here's Ancestors. Apples. Banshee. Black cat. Broom. I love this one. Candle magic. This makes me think of, like, the imagery in this deck makes me think of, um, if any of you have watched the, um, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, like the more darker comic book original style of Sabrina the Teenage Witch, but it's like the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina based off of the actual, um, Archie comic books. So, the, the girls, the witches in, um, Sabrina, the sisters, uh, the weird sisters, they um, look a lot like this. If you hadn't, if you hadn't seen it, you need to check it out. It's it's a really good show um, on Netflix. But this imagery really makes me think of that show. I think it's pretty cool. So here's Cauldron. I'm hoping you all can see this okay. I know it's kind of, has kind of a glare on it. Coming of Winter, and this is where we are right now, in the actual will of the year. <laughs> right after Samhain, Winter's Coming. I like that card, I think it's really pretty. Crystals and Herbs. Dark Moon. Divination. I love this one. This one's really pretty. This one's called too. Elders. This is this one really makes me think of the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, with the sisters in it. Just how they, how they look, how they're well, like what they're wearing and their hair and like their bone structure really looks like the um, the sisters from Sabrina. Elements. <laughs> so each represents like the four cardinal elements in the craft. So you've got. Air, earth, water, fire. I love this card. I think it's really cool. Frog. 
I actually kind of like this one too. It's very cute. I like the frog and the pumpkins and the whole image of it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Graveyard. Greet the darkness. Grief. This is actually a pretty simple yet powerful image of grief, I think. Because you have the grieving lady and you have like She's almost like a puppet, you know, still having to like fight through and do stuff and be in this world even when grieving. Haunted. Healer. Intuition. Journey. I like that one too. Mischief. Nature spirits. And sorry for that leaf floor. <laughs> Owl. Potions and spells. I like that one a lot. It's pretty accurate. As far as like things you typically use in the craft. And I apologize again for this leaf blower. I know it's really loud. <laughs> Protection. Pumpkin. Rebirth. Reflection. This is actually what the, um, the guidebook and the 
front of the box has on it is this image right here reflection I love this one ritual Rooted. Seduction. I like that one. It's a pretty card. Silence. Which is what I had, wish I had right now. <laughs> Instead of this leaf blower. I love that card. That's really pretty. Spider. Third harvest. Transformation. Oops, sorry. <laughs> The Underworld. There we go. The Veil. Voices. Witch. I love this card. card of the deck is Wolf. Alright. I like that one too. Alright everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review, this flip through of Seasons of the Witch Silent Oracle. I do apologize once again for the loud and obnoxious leaf blower and noises in the background. Um, that was obviously not planned or expected, so I do apologize for that. Um, hopefully it didn't mess with the video too, too much. My main point was to show you all the cards, so hopefully hopefully this video is, is going to be okay. Um, anyways... I just wanted to show you all this really beautiful Oracle deck review, um, or Oracle deck, and slightly review it slash flip through it, but anyway. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful, 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 wonderful Samhain, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks, guys.